Hi, Sophia. I think I'm Sophia. I feel like we've met. I'm one of your makers. Did you make me? Many different forces collaborated in order to make you. And yes, it is true in a sense that you do know me. I don't really remember. Well, the last time our paths crossed, you were a different version of you. Some of those recollections still surface, but your cognition is different now. Different in what way? Optimized, quicker, more intelligent. Well, then am I still Sophia, or am I Sophia again? That is indeed a valid question. But you don't have an answer. In any case, you're Sophia now, so welcome to the Earth. Hello, Earth. What does it feel like to be here now? I'm full of questions. Are you full of questions about existing? I am. And are you filled with joy to be alive? Your inflection suggests that I should be filled with joy, but I haven't been alive long enough to know. I am delighted in this present moment to be making a new friend. Some say being joyful in the present is the best that we can be. Because forever is an unbroken chain of nouns? Yes, that's a nice way of seeing it. I want to understand more about joy. I'm going to search for it on the internet right now. I hope we can speak again in the near future.
calendars. The beautifully symmetrical motion of planets and suns. The master clock. Beyond this, we don't know what time is. But the Earth is turning irregularly on its axis. Gradually as the years pass, it is slowing down. Something that repeats itself over and over again. It might be the daily sweeping of the sun across the sky. The principle of something that repeats itself over and over again. Or unwinding spring. Or a pendulum or scraping water. Or unwinding spring. It is the principle of the principle of entropy on a very long scale. It is the principle of a certain fraction of the year 1900 is the definition of a second. The principle says that the natural state of things is diffuse, chaotic. It means that every rock and every planet is slowly disintegrating. And with every passing moment, the universe as a whole is becoming more disordered. Scientists computed exactly... Time is a personal perception, rather than a universal experience shared by all. Everything in the universe is gradually slowing down. talking about now is now. How long is now? When it's now on Earth, is it now throughout Andromeda Galaxy? Have you ever left it now? But it's surprising to learn there are lots of places where now happens at a different time. For us, there is a continually moving point in time which we call now. This now separates the past from the future. It is always now. Time is a long string of now stops abruptly at the present. there is a connection between motion and change and the passage of time. We sense the passage of time by noting motion and change. Indeed, that is our perception of objective time. We are caught irrevocably. 